afternoon. This is Crystal's Creations. Should be able to hear me today and see because I can see the pot clearly in my view. Got it up. Got my stuff. Got my water. Get this out of my way. Got my brushes. And hopefully I can sit down without spilling anything. So here is the pot. We have it painted already. Got our coats, couple coats of the tan, three coats of the tan, couple coats of the navy blue on. So now what I'm gonna do is put, let me show you guys real quick what I'm gonna put on it. Uh, let's see if I can get it here in a second and pick it up. I trimmed my fingernails the other day. It's hard for me to grab stuff. So just bear with me, okay? So let me move the pot out of the way. So let me get the pot out of the view for a second. So you guys can see this. So our my daughter's band teacher plays the saxophone. So he's a sax player. So here's a sax that I colored. So I colored a couple of these. So there's a saxophone that I colored. And then here's another one that I colored. And one... <sighs> One more that I colored that's connected to a clarinet that I colored as well. So these three that I colored, I tried to match it as remotely closely as possible to this saxophone as well. And then here is a, oh boy, a ooh, horn, French horn, I think. This is a bass clarinet, I do believe. This is another... Oh, she told me, my daughter told me what this one was. Don't ask. I don't remember. I think this one is a piccolo. This one here with the little tip mouthpiece on it. In the end, kind of looks like a clarinet, but it's not. Um, this here is, I believe, snare drums that they use in marching band and stuff like that. Um, this is a t tuba or sousaphone, I don't remember. This is a, no, this is a tuba. This has to be a tuba. It's a really long thing. <laughs> then I printed out some music notes and some more music notes, as you guys can see. So, and then a heart shaped. I made it into a heart shaped. It kind of was already a heart shaped, but yeah. So, so yeah, heart shaped music notes. And then here's a float. So we have a float right here we're going to put on and here's a clarinet that my daughter played and then a drum a single drum and then here is a so here's a sousaphone this is a sousaphone i think so many instruments in the marching band and then here is a Another instrument. <laughs> I don't remember what everything is, but I looked some up and then she got some for me and we printed a bunch out on images, Google images. They were free for the taking. So since we're not selling these, we can use them to give them away as gifts. So that's all good. So I'm gonna set these aside for a second and let me Make sure I have my saxophones because we're going to put those on first since Mr. Stansbury plays the saxophone. And put all these little guys. We're going to put these on the border of his flower pot on the top rim. 
And so I'm gonna lay this on the side so you guys can see. And then I have two different kinds of waterproofing here. One that I'm gonna use to put the little decals on the pot. The one I'm gonna use to put the, the stuff on the pot, I'm gonna use the one coat gloss finish Mod Podge Super Gloss Brilliant. I'm gonna use that to put the stuff on the pot. So this stuff here. And then after I get that on, I'm gonna waterproof it with this um, Dishwasher Safe Mod Podge waterproof sealer in glue finish. So if they ever had an inkling to stick it in the dishwasher, at least everything would be safe. And maybe this will make it hail safe too. <laughs> so we will try this. So that is what we will use after we get all the stuff on and we'll put, yeah, all that. So should be able to see this in here. I laid it down, should be able to see it. I just stand on my tippy toes, which was very painful to stand on my tippy toes, by the way. Don't want to do that anymore. But I did it. So now I have two brushes here. I have one that is kind of rounded, and I have one that is a slant. The one that is rounded, I will use to... Use to glue the stuff on and this one that is slanted I will use to waterproof my flower pot for Mr. Stansberry so we will set that one aside for now okay for now let's go ahead and I got my hot water with dish 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 the palm olive or whatever dish soap you might have on hand so I have that I have a towel laying down because you never want to lay your painted flower pot on a hard surface because you could possibly chip the paint. Now earlier I accidentally got, I was painting another coat of gold on the other flower pot over there and I accidentally wasn't paying attention to what I was doing and I accidentally got some blue on the gold and I thought oh no I don't want to have to paint again so I took my wash my chamois cloth and I wiped the blue and I thought, oh, what if the gold comes off? I don't want to have to start all over and repaint this pot all over again. And you know what? The blue came right off the gold. It didn't take the paint off. And I thought, wow, this Ceramicoat Delta paint is really good stuff. So I highly recommend the Delta paint, acrylic paint, Ceramicoat paint stuff. That, that stuff is awesome. So, all right. So now that we got that, so let's go ahead and get our saxophones on the border of this pot for Mr. Stansberry. We're going to dip it in, not too much. So I'm just going to wipe on here. Now it's kind of hard for you guys to see what I'm doing because then I'm just going to make a big mess and get it all over my hands like I just did. So. I'm gonna put it on the pot, like so. Eh. Try and lay it flat. It's okay if you get some on the top because this stuff dries clear and it is also a waterproofing coat too, so that's good. I wanna make sure we smooth it out. Oh. And good thing I have my chamois on hand too. Ooh. That glue gets sticky. And so now I'm going to move that over just a hair. And let's go ahead and see if I have room for this one. So I think I do. So we're going to put this one over here. So we want to make sure we space them out. And you guys really don't need to, ooh, my brush fell into the glue stuff. Yeah. I should have used a smaller brush because this brush really is too big. Again, you really don't need to see me painting all the stuff. I'm just gonna put that in the lid, not on my desk. Stay in the lid. Okay. 
Ah, no, 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 no. Don't fall on me. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get this to work. Get that on. No, I don't think I glued that very well. Okay, let's flip this over. I'm trying to get this angled because this one is just big. Trying to make sure I get it on smoothly because we don't want it to go on clumpy. In this one, of course, I colored too. I colored the clarinet as well. I used my um, Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. So there's that one. Wipe my hands off. Always make sure you wipe your hands off in between. And then we're gonna move our pot over more and get this saxophone on. Then I think I might even put a music note up here too, just to give it some space in between. Maybe, let's see, I think we can actually, this might be, so let me see. Because we have a lot of space here, so I'm trying to think, how did this one come out of the printer? I'm trying to think, er, I think it came out like this, so I think I'm going to put this one on, this one here, you guys should be able to see that. So I think I will put this one on the top too. I'm just putting a little bit of glue on it. And then let's go ahead. I'll put this on so you guys can see what I'm doing. Oops. Actually fits up at the top pretty good. Okay, that looks good. Okay, let's get this saxophone on. Looks good. Kind of need something in between here. I could stick another instrument at the top because we do have a lot of instruments to go on the bottom. So I think instead of sticking, oh, oh, let's see here. Let's put. 
And what if I stick this guy up here? And that'll probably make it look cool. So I'll stick this. I think it's a piccolo. I think. I don't know. I'll have to ask my daughter. I don't know the name of all these instruments. It's one of the skinny guys. So, you know that. Don't think it's it. So we'll just put that right there. No, 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 no. Okay. We got that one on. There, that looks pretty good. So I'll kind of angle it so you guys can see. So we have those instruments on there. So it looks like I need to fix somebody though. Somebody's kind of poking up a little bit. There, I'll fix that one a little bit. We have that one, that, the music notes, that, there. So now we're gonna work on the blue part, which you should be able to still see, correct? Correct. So let's see, let me see what I have here. So this here is actually the bass clarinet. So I'm gonna kind of spread these around here. So let me see what I have to work with. That's clarinet. That is the flute. I've got all the skinny ones over here. And then I have another, hmm. And we have the fringe horn. We have another instrument, and then we have the heart-shaped music notes, and then we have the big drum, then we have a s tuba, another one, the snare drums, and some more music notes. So let's see, I think I'm going to put the heart right there. We'll start with that in the middle. So. And then we'll branch out from there. Yeah. Okay. So again, we want to make sure that we're on straight, nice and smooth, no wrinkles. Okay, so we got the heart on. Then move over just a tad. Okay, put that music note on the eraser there. So let's see, how about we go with the French horn? Or, yeah. Trombone, whatever this thing is called. So I went to my daughter's last concert the other day on Tuesday. And uh, it 
Bittersweet memories. Her last concert, it was kind of different because, you know, we're still kind of in that pandemic mode. Oops. Ah, can't grab it. Um. Okay, pull it a little bit. There we go. So now I have that on. The uh, that didn't. Okay, I've got that on. Okay, now let's put. Let's do a drum, shall we? We'll do this drum next. <laughs> Okay, we'll stick that close to here. Okay, got the drum on. And then we can add is like yeah um let's go with a flute let's do a flute shall we There we go. So there's that. We're going to turn it a little bit. There's a wonder why I don't do pots that often because this glue gets really gucky with my hands. I know it's messy, but I still like doing flower pots and painting them because it is therapeutic. It is still fun to decorate them, and it's okay to plant flowers in it, and, and you don't have to always use it for flowers, you know, like I said in the last video. And then we'll put this guy on it, this instrument. No, no. Okay. Then we'll add the bass clarinet. Thought I know some of my instruments, what the names are called. <laughs> Okay, we got that on. Now we'll turn this pot a little bit. And then we can add, let's add our snare drums real quick.
I should have these this way, this way, I think I'll do them this way. I don't know, I think I'll do them this way. I'll have them here at the bottom. So there's the drums. Okay. And then above that, I'll put this big guy. There's the clarinet right there. You guys could see that. And then we're going to add the sousaphone. I'm going to have to figure out where we're going to put this. out. I'm going to turn it a little bit. Um, I'm going to stick it actually. <laughs> actually, let's stick it. You guys can see it. I'm going to stick it right here. This one, I think, over here, right here. I think I'll put that one right there. Oh no, maybe I won't. Let's see. Looks okay. Good. So that is all the instruments on the pot. Actually, we have one more, but you know what? I think I'm actually going to put it on the top rim up here because I think we have room for it on the top rim. So just because it's kind of skinny. Okay. All right, let's run 
rinse that out for a second. Put the lid on this so this stuff doesn't dry out. And grab my other stuff. Sorry about the noise. other stuff rinsed out so I don't mix it with the other waterproofing my hands in there too. That sudsy water that glue off me. Ugh. Okay. So now, guys, I'm going to have to stand this pot up to waterproof it. So I do apologize. If you can't see it very good. <laughs> so we have it all decorated so as you can tell we have all the instruments on it and all we got to do is waterproof it and let it dry and it should be ready to go so let me show you how you do that so we have our waterproofing stuff here our mod podge and again these pots can go outside and this dishwasher safe stuff is pretty strong stuff, so it should be withstandable to just about anything. Uh, yeah, it says use on all surfaces, indoor, outdoor, top rack, dishwasher safe, water based, non toxic, dries hard. Roll bottle on table to mix. Oh, well, guess better do that, huh? Let's roll it on the table. Make sure it's well mixed. I don't know if I did that last time. <laughs> Shall we roll it, roll it, roll it on down the river? No. <laughs> no, I'll spare you guys. Just rolling it. Make sure it's well mixed. This one you can mix. This one here, this uh, super gloss, this stuff here, you cannot mix at all. Because if you do, you ruin its luster. And it won't work at all. So some of these you can mix, some you cannot. Okay, there we go mixed so I'm gonna try and hold the pot like this while I waterproof okay so I'm gonna start at the bottom now it might go on white but it does dry clear So I'm going to try. Go over my stuff. And make sure that's sealed. So then we're going to turn it a little bit.
to just keep going. I think something just fell. Or I dropped a piece. Yeah, on the towel there. That's okay. So I'm just trying to get it on. I'm going to turn it again. Make sure I get every square inch. that part yet. got the whole that part of the pot so now we get to do the top part so this is where it gets tricky so actually not too difficult actually it's just ah Okay, I'm going to turn it a little bit. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I am actually working on um, graduation cards too in the process. I will be doing another video, I think, tomorrow or later today. I'm not sure yet. Um, on graduation cards. Um, turn it. Um, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, but I can do it. But my goal is to do 500 graduation cards for my daughter's graduation senior class. I don't see how she has 500, but I'm like, okay. But uh, 
she typed up all the seniors in her class, even though we lost a couple this year, which is kind of sad. One of them I knew ever since preschool, all the way through her senior year. And Okay, I think we got the whole thing now, minus the very bottom of it which I still need to go over there and grab real quick. So I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, so bear with me a second while I will get the bottom of the pot. Should I grab the right one? Okay, that's gold. This is tan. Okay, so this is the bottom of the pot that will go on this one. Do we need to waterproof this too? So this one took about three coats too. So this has little prongs on the inside, so I'm just hanging on to the prong on the inside. Without trying to. And there you have it. Just make it sure we're nice and smooth. Again, this stuff doesn't take long to dry. Okay, put that in the water, close the lid, and that is my video for how to do a flower pot if you want to decorate it. Now you can stencil them. Um, I've done quite a few where I've stenciled and painted stenciled, and I've done adult coloring book flower pots too. Um, you can actually go to my... Um, Crystal Creations at Passion Pots Facebook page and go look there and you will see all kinds of flower pots that I've actually done on that page too if you want. So I will put that in the description below. So there you go. And I hope that you guys have a great day and take care and we will talk later. Goodbye for now until I do another video. Again, there's the video, flower pot. Talk to you later, goodbye.